To be like Jesus, witness wherever Jesus calls you. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, that by me the preaching might be fully known, and that all the Gentiles might hear, and I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. 2 Timothy 4 and verse 17 Resolve not in your own strength, but in the strength and grace given of God, that you will consecrate to him now, just now, every power, every ability. You will then follow Jesus because he bids you and you will not ask where or what reward will be given. It will be well with you as you obey the word. Follow me. Your part is to lead others to the light by judicious, faithful efforts. Under the guardianship of the divine leader, will to do, resolve to act, without a moment's hesitation. When you die to self, when you surrender to God to do his work, to let the light that he had given you shine forth in good works, you will not labor alone. God's grace stands forth to cooperate with every effort to enlighten the ignorant and those who do not know that the end of all things is at hand. But God will not do your work Light may shine in abundance, but the grace given will convert your souls only as it arouses you to cooperate with divine agencies. You are called upon to put on the Christian armor and enter the Lord's service as active soldiers. Divine power is to cooperate with human effort to break the spell of the worldly enchantment that the enemy has cast upon souls. Let your hearts be drawn out in love for perishing souls. Obey the impulse given by high heaven. Grieve not the Holy Spirit by delay. Resist not God's method of recovering souls from the trouble down of sin. To everyone according to their several ability is given their work. Do your best and God will accept your efforts. To be like Jesus. September 10th. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Thank you all for listening, and please join us once again tomorrow for your daily devotional reading. God bless.